let's go ahead and take a few minutes here. This should be a quick and easy tutorial on how to download Gemini and get it working on your computer. So we're going to talk about how to um, get it started and then add it here uh, to our taskbar as well. So stay tuned. This should be a pretty easy uh, video to follow along with. Okay, so this is what we're looking for, but let's go ahead and open up a, um, a new browser here. And I've created this one here that's a real basic there's nothing in this browser, okay? So we can switch to other Chrome browsers, of course, but you can see I have multiple ones, but this one has nothing in it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a search for Google Gemini. So we're just gonna type in here, we're just gonna type in Google Gemini. That's it, okay? And then it's gonna pull up a search for us and we're gonna come in here. Now, first caution. Don't just click on any of these links <laughs> because some of them are going to take you to places you don't want to go. So um, we just want to uh, use Gemini here and I've signed out for right now. So we're going to do that together. So here we, we want to look for the origins in Google. And do you see where it says Google? It may even say Google Gemini on some of these other links. But um, we want to make sure that we select the one that's from Google. So right there, Google, Gemini, Google. Go ahead and click on it. Now, once we click on it, it's going to pull us right into this generative AI. And we're just going to go ahead and hit sign in. So we can hit it here or here. Now, it's going to look at an account that you already have on your machine. So in this case, I have Jeff Lush work at gmail.com. I could add another account if I want, or I could remove the account. But right now, I'm just going to go with whatever is there, okay? I could, remember, add it as well. So once you either add or select, you want to put in your password and go through all the security stuff. And I'm going to pause the video, do that myself. Go ahead and do that yourself, and I'll, and I'll come back in just a minute. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. See, that wasn't that hard. You're you're already doing a great job. You're you're in and you're signed in. So how do we know that we're signed in? Right here. Okay, when we click on there, we see the J, maybe your smiling face, whatever. And then here, here's the email that I'm going. I can sign back out if I want, or I can add other accounts. Now, why is it important that you have a uh, email account associated with Gemini because now I can pull up Gemini on multiple devices and it will work on all of my devices. So I'll be able to see past chats. For example, when I click on here, you can see past chats that I've done with Gemini. So I can go back and see anything uh, that I want. Okay. So here, good deal. So we're going to go ahead and open that back up. Now, Let's go ahead and um, add this as a favorite, first of all. Now, remember, I'm using a Chrome browser, so we're just going to click on here, bookmark it. Now, I'm going to say I want to add it to bookmarks, okay, to other bookmarks, but I don't want that there. I want to put it in my bookmark bar, so I'm going to click on edit, okay? And then, do you see here where it says folder, bookmarks bar, okay? So, let me do that one more time. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to give me the name. Clicked on the star. Okay, go ahead, follow along with me. It's okay. Yep, that's it right there, the star. Now on folder, I'm going to click down on folder. Oh, I, I had edit, right? Uh, let me see here, remove. Okay, we'll start over. Click on the star, boom. Now it says where it's going to put it, but I don't want it just putting it anywhere because I'm going to lose it, right? So I want to go ahead and say edit. Edit, and then I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to say put it in the bookmark bar. And I'm going to hit done. Now, that sync that it was telling me was just so that it could sync across multiple devices. I don't want to do that. You could do that if you choose. Now, notice we still don't see the bookmark. So we're going to go in and activate the bookmark bar. To do that, we're going to click on the three dots here, and we're going to go to bookmarks, I think. Yes, but I have to minimize this hold on so we're going to activate it here 
We're going to go to bookmarks and lists, show bookmarks bar. And now, do you see it right there? So now every time you can just click on Gemini and it's going to start your chat. So let's go ahead and chat with this bad boy. You just hit chat, say, you got to read through all this stuff, read it carefully, and I agree. Now, and then um, hit continue, do whatever you want to do there. Okay, now we're ready to use Gemini. Now, one thing that is very important uh, to realize is that this is not secure. So what that means is that anything you put in here is going to be shared with other people. So for example, I would not want to type in my social security number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's only hold on. I'm, I'm trying to Okay, what a social security number is. Um, can you help me find social security security and then notice I don't have to spell it all out let's see I misspell okay now remember that we don't want to put your social security number and and Gemini does a pretty good job of telling us you don't want to do that okay it's sensitive information and you don't want to share that information but um, we did it anyways and you can see here that it answers the question to learn about your benefits go to here you can also contact here and then um, you can do an expansion you can also with Gemini have it read to you so you can click on listen now this is very helpful like for example we were driving down the road the other day thinking about going and visiting London and in my wife was driving at the time and we're looking at options so we're asking well what could we do there what what happens in Liverpool for example so we asked asked in this case we're using chat GPT but we could have asked Gemini and then and then said hey read me what the results are and then it read it over the car speaker so everybody in the car could hear what was going on it was actually kind of cool all right anyways Gemini last thing I wanted to show you here is it can give you multiple options okay it can regenerate these drafts or give you multiple options so here we're going to click on that one there's our second option here's our third option so it kind of gives you multiple and then you can say regenerate it and it's going to give you more options i can't share your but here's the information so all right so pretty easy stuff easy to use uh and that's exactly how you use gemini so good luck Gemini's a uh, great product. See other videos I have on generative AI. Uh, we do a comparison between Chat, GPT, Copilot, and Gemini. But Gemini gets you some pretty current information and can prove to be a real asset uh, in your daily life.